Well, today I'm going to learn to see if I get to save $130 or if I have to spend $130. So this is my power steering pump out of my Camaro. And the issue with it is that right now my pump is out. So you can see it's not in there. Um, I'm running headers and when you run headers in these car in any of these older small block Chevys um, power string brackets uh, have a tendency to connect to uh, the stud or the bolt on the forward facing number one cylinder and if you ever want to do any exhaust work or um, change out the, the manifolds or the headers, you usually have to um, start messing around with the power string pump. So what I discovered is I picked up these brackets here. They're junk off Amazon. They're like, <clears throat> they feel like plastic. I think they're just cast metal. Um, basically what these do, these let's get a better light source here somehow so there's two holes down here right there and right there and these two holes line up with the block and this hole lines up on the pump and on the one side if you look there is a spot right there that this bolts to so that it becomes a pivot point. But the problem is, is that this pump only has one hole here for a stud, but no hole here for a stud. And doing some reading, it seems like most of these Sag Saginaw, Sagana, however you want to pronounce it, pumps, um, the pump itself is basically the same. Uh, the difference is, is that this casing changes. So, my thinking is I'm going to pull this back cover off and see if the hole or the mount hole is behind here somewhere for the other stud. And if it is, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill it out and then it'll allow me to put a 3 8 bolt in there and then use this one, this bracket, on the back side. The only downside is that there is no spot here that says where it might be. So you have to take this cover off which is pretty simple. It's just, there should be a bolt here, but there's not. So you would remove that, remove your stud or vice versa, pull this off, and then you can just knock this off. So once I have this knocked off, then we'll look at the pump and see if that extra hole is down there. If it is, then I can just drill out this casing. If it's not, well, it's $130 that I got to spend for a new pump. And I know what you're saying, you can go to the junkyard. Well, our junkyards around here don't really usually have a lot of these older parts anymore and they're usually picked through pretty quick. I can try scrounging the, the ads, but trying to find anything close to me is pretty difficult. So we're gonna see if I can save $130 and a bunch of my time and make this work. So I'm gonna take the cover off and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So here, you can see the cover is off, really easy. Once I took off that big one there, it just tapped off. It's very, doesn't, it's not tight or anything. Um, but you can see, got the one hole there, the big hole there, but there's none there. But if you look at the actual pump, you can see you got one, two, and you got three holes. So this is the one, so if we put this here, this hole here on the back lines up to this one, your big hole, your big hole, your little one, but it's not here. So there's no marking there. There's no marking on the inside of that that I can see. So I'm not gonna know exactly where this is at. Now, you have to be careful when doing this because the only thing <clears throat> that's sealing these three holes to the back of this are O-rings. So I don't, there's no O-ring in this one here, 
I have an O-ring for here and an O-ring for here. So I may need to get some replacement O-rings before I can finish this. Um, because these are pretty, these aren't round. They're more um, squares, thicker. I don't know really what they are. But um, what I'm probably going to have to do for this is I'm probably going to have to take a 3 8 bolt, cut it off, grind this to a point, thread it in, put the cover on, tap the cover, so then I see a little divot mark here, and then I can drill it out. And then I have to make sure that I drill it out so that it's the exact same diameter as this, so that the O-ring can still seal and it won't leak. So that's, that's good news because now I don't have to spend you know, $130 on a new pump and it goes to show that these, if you don't have that rear stud, it could just might be there and you just have to drill it out. So I'm going to see about the O-rings, see if I got something in the drawer that might work. Um, and then see about how I'm going to mark that hole so that I can get that uh, drilled up properly. So once I get that all figured out, then I will continue on with this. Okay. So I did this a little different. I got a bolt that I cut down, which is just slightly higher than this surface here. I then took some red grease and I put that on top of the bolt. And now if I take my cover and I line everything up how it should be, and it goes back together. So we'll just stick the bolt in this hole here. that's lined up that's lined up and now I just take my cover knock it down a second turn it over if you look inside there's my grease mark so all I gotta do is just center drill that out, do a little tiny bit at a time, just to make sure that I don't oversize this hole. And once I have that drilled out, then I'll have to get some O-rings. And once I have the O-rings, um, then I'll be able to put this back together. Cause I tried just some standard um, round O-rings, but they weren't tall enough. And what would happen is if I put it into the hole, it would sit flat and it, it would sit flat here um, and not be raised up enough. And you need it to be just slightly above so that when you put this cover on, it squishes, it's, this cover goes back on there so it can just squish it down a bit. So I'm gonna have to find those. Hopefully they don't take me too long to find the replacements for that. Maybe someone's got a kit that I can buy. Um, not sure, so we'll take a look. I'll check Amazon, check a couple of places locally to see if maybe somebody has something. Um, but for now, I'm gonna get that cover drilled out. Okay, so I went on Amazon, everyone's favorite part source. Found this kit, Edelman Power Steering Repair Kit. Uh, part number, I think is 7910. Description said it should work for this. Comes with all the a bag of seals and stuff. The two, that I am the most interested in the two I'm most interested in one I think are these guys here these little square ones um, it does have another thicker one so I'm hoping that it's not this one that I need two of and that these two are the ones that will work so get my gloves we're going to take the pump apart, take off these We're going to take off these two bolts and this one here again. So these two are pretty easy.
Take off the big one. And then we just tap that piece. Part. Okay, so we're gonna try the big fat, big fat thick one. And that one looks like it'll work. So now we're gonna try these two other little small ones. And unfortunately those will not work. So it is this big fat thick one. So what I'll probably have to do is reuse so I still got the old one which is still all right and I have a new one so I can put one of each in now there is an o-ring here but again it's another square cut o-ring in this kit um, did not come with one of that size for that. Now, there are many variations of the Saginaw pump, so this one may not necessarily be for this particular model, because it doesn't actually say, because all you can see is it just says, power steering pump, small pump, 1960 and up, General Motors, Saginaw. So, and you can see here, like it shows the two variations, but, it doesn't give you a parts list of what comes in the kit. So you're kind of like, I mean, it shows some pictures here of things, but I guess for now, um, I'll just use the old ones because it wasn't leaking. They just didn't feel very high. So I'll put these two in, which should be fine. And now that I have the pump with an O-ring, an O-ring, and this one, now when I put it back together, These bolts are too long right now, so I've just been stacking two washers. New O-ring, old, old, pump is back together. So I got one new O-ring, one old, and one old. Um, so that allowed me to do as I thought and um, add the hole to the back of this so that I can uh, put, a new, put a stud in it. The O-ring basically, um, this case, the back of this case and the pump basically seals with that O-ring to the back of this. So you need those O-rings, otherwise if you put a hole here, it's just gonna pour out. So now that I've got the two O-rings on there and everything is good, um, my next project will be making these 
but not out of such crappy, flimsy, whatever type steel or metal this is. Um, so yeah, so it was gonna be $130 for a reman pump. Um, I said, no way, cost me $45 for the seal kit. I'm going to see if maybe I can find another seal kit that um, shows more of what the parts in it. It would have been nice to have two of those um, new seals, but uh, it only came with one, probably because a lot of these Saginaw pumps only have one stud on it. So um, it would have been nice if there was two. Maybe there's another GM kit. I'll have to dig around and maybe see if it's got more parts to it. I don't know. Um, but for now, I've got this able to have the two studs so that I can mount it properly on the block and in my car and have proper adjustment without having to, to affect my headers. Um, so if you got one of these pumps and it's only got the one stud, just need an O-ring and a drill bit and a few minutes of your time, drill it out and you got a new hole. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps if you run into this problem like I did and we'll see you in the next one.